guys, it's me again with another crypto gem. Um, it's only fitting, uh, since we've been talking about Claire, it's only fitting that we talk about sharing today. With sharing, I actually discovered this a few months ago. And when I discovered it, it was actually my top pick. And it, it still kind of is. I mean, this is definitely a long-term hodl. And I'm going to tell you why. Now, if you don't know anything about sharing, uh, what it is, it's... Uh, it's, I mean the name says it all. There's a sharing ecosystem and it's for sharing anything. Uh, obviously it's built um, on the blockchain. It's decentralized. And uh, so what is sharing? Okay, so <clears throat> it, when it first started, um, people thought that it was nothing but a travel app, okay? They were due to launch on the, uh, uh, to launch an app. On, on Apple and Samsung, but I think that that's been pushed back because of share, because of the, uh, the the pandemic. All right, so that messed with their timeline. But I guess that's that's going to be coming soon. Now, this is a place for sharing anything, you know, from car rentals, hotels, uh, you know, global. It's a global uh, ecosystem, and uh, the website looks quite nice as you can see. Very well done. It's actually recently been being updated. Um, they've got this thing called the sharing ID okay um, I thought it was called one ID uh, one ID where basically um, your your ID is stored on the blockchain so it's like it's one ID for everything you don't need to like every time you book something or do something you don't need to bring an ID or anything like that and there's obviously a problem with like fraud and things like that so once your ID is on the blockchain like your face, your picture, all of that is biometrically recognized. And, uh, you know, it eliminates uh, the fraud aspects of things. So it literally be, literally be there on the blockchain. I don't know whether you have to renew your IDs after a certain amount of years or anything like that. But that's definitely something that's, uh, that's quite interesting, especially with, you know, I mean, let's say, for example, you were out and about and you wanted to, uh, you know, jump on an airplane and go somewhere. I mean, you need your passport, don't you? You can't leave your house without your passport. Or anything like that. Now, if your ID was on the blockchain, I mean, you're you're a free spirit. Do you know what I mean? You could just wherever you are, someone could say, "Let's go here, let's go there," and you could just jump on an airplane and go because your ID is on the blockchain. As long as you've got like your phone with you, for example, and um, you know we don't leave the house without our phones, do we? They've got a number of different products. So they've got sharing pay, so they've tokenized, um, the, you know, their their their, their coin the SHR token is something you can use to. Uh, to, to obviously pay for the services within their mobile app. And I'll, I'll, I'll go through that in a minute. Okay, so we've got the share token, this SHR. Um, obviously I mentioned the app, is uh, the share ledger. And um, so, so let's look at the token, right? So the token price is currently um, just one and a half cents roughly. And that's gone, gone up from under a penny. Because when I first discovered uh, th this token, it was like one tenth of a penny. And uh, Obviously, it's, it's seen significant gains over over the past, you know, a few months. Um, it's currently ranked at 282, 20 million, 21, just under 21 million on the market cap. There's a lot more volume coming through right now. The circulating supply is 1.4 billion. The total supply, it says on here, to uh, 0.038 billion. The, the total supply is actually more like. 4.39 billion, uh, if I've got that correctly. Um, but they did do a token burn. They are doing token burns, and um, yeah, that's that's not completely accurate. Uh, however, the circulating supply is accurate, and the, the the market cap and all that sort of stuff does seem to be accurate. So it's a sharing aims to make sharing and renting services quicker and simpler for everyone by creating an accessible and sustainable global ecosystem. For the sharing and renting economies, it aims to become the world's trusted marketplace for the sharing community. Sharing has reportedly developed a number of blockchain support modules such as bookings, management, self-sovereign identity, reviews, dispute resolution, reward system and a stable coin that facilitates low FX payments in a fiat and a number of crypto currencies. Now it mentions a stable coin there. So they've got the SHRP, which, is in the, uh, which, is, which will be on the app as well, and that's the sharing stable coin. And then you've got the SHR, which is this one, which is, you know, share token. Okay, now it's called sharing, 
but sometimes people would refer to it as share token because of the token but the, the brand is actually sharing now <clears throat> on uh, the website was updated like i said and um, just to you know improve the kind of look and the feel of it so that people weren't confused thinking that it's merely a travel app we're on a lockdown but when it comes to traveling like um sharing they've on the app they've got lots of like hotel bookings and all that sort of stuff so they're partnered with like thousands of hotels uh, globally you know and uh, in places like thailand you know let's say for example you wanted to, to rent a car uh, you can do it through the app uh, you want to get a hotel you can do it through the app you want to you know book events or, or somewhere to go um, restaurants dinners all that sort of stuff you can do that through the app now they actually uh, uh, scaled that back um, slightly temporarily because the hotels contacted them and, and said that you know they're no longer offering uh, those services until the end of July which is why they've not released the app yet um, the CEO uh, Timothy Bose now he was talking about uh, potentially rolling out a vanilla app just so you can get the look and feel of the app before rolling it out completely once everything goes back to normal but they're debating as to whether they should do that or not but um yeah the app is going to be on app, uh, apple store and uh see because they've updated the website i don't know where everything is right now travel yeah look the only travel app you will ever need imagine stepping off the plane and knowing everything can be securely booked and managed from your phone I mean, we do everything on our phones right now. Um, we just need simple apps and, and things like that that we can just do everything like. I mean, imagine you could just sort, you, you book in a holiday, you can just sort everything out in one app. Everything that you're gonna do when you get there, how you're gonna get there, how you're gonna get picked up, whether you're gonna rent a car, all of that. You don't need to go through different entities. You can just do it all through the sharing app. The sharing platform is built on a distributed ledger technology, as I said before, which means every transaction is secure. Uh, user identities are checked and so on uh, so before an agreement takes place everything's going to be checked on the blockchain so you're secure on both ends you'll know you know you know that you, you're not going to get robbed or scanked okay so obviously with car sharing hotel and short stay accommodation insurance cryptocurrency marketplace charity logistic and transport now the thing about sharing is they, they've actually got a product right now and that's the sharing shop okay so uh, basically in melbourne australia they've got um because of, uh, this launch when the lockdown came out by the way but um it's almost like a a, um, a cardo where they can order food you know there's like a, a location of like fifty thousand houses and they cover one area at the moment where you can get all your things delivered like amazon and it's free shipping for for, for orders over 50 50 dollars um, but yeah, that's only in Australia right now. But they are looking to do like a global, a global rollout with that. And I think you can actually pay with Share Token as well. I'm not entirely sure, but you can obviously pay with your card. And yeah, yeah, Share Pay. I mean, you can pay with uh, your Share Token and you can pay with card. So that's actually a working product. I don't know how successful successful it is at the moment, but it's been going for probably about a month now. So that's great. That's 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 definitely something um, that's nice. Now, the guy that founded this company is Timothy Bose. Okay, and uh, there's a picture of him down here. Timothy Bose, chairman and CTO. Tim has over 20 years' experience working with startups and established enterprises with a focus on technology. He has held a number of senior roles within widely recognised and respected global organisations, including program manager uh Avenard Australia, a Microsoft venture, uh associate director at Barclays Capital based in Singapore, project manager at GE Capital and infrastructure manager at Atari. Piaz is also Tim's third successful startup. He sold his telematics company, BioWatch, to Procon in 2013 and also recently sold Caravan to an ASX listed company. Just thought I'd read that for you. But um this guy is an established businessman. He's an entrepreneur. He's got many successful startups that he's moved on from already. But if you look at this, if you look at the website, it's quite similar. The color schemes are similar. And um, 
Okay, I'll take that back. It's not. The previous website looked a little bit more like this, but like I say, this has recently been updated uh, about two or three weeks ago. Yeah, you know I mean, it's definitely, Kia's is like, if you don't know what this is, this is one of the biggest car rental companies in Australia. Yeah, and um, they're not in Australia alone, they're in five countries. Kia's New Zealand, uh, sorry, Australia, New Zealand, USA, Hong Kong and Vietnam. And they've got offices in, in, in a lot of these places as well for sharing. They've got offices in Vietnam, um, Australia, Hong Kong, uh, Singapore, I believe, and Thailand. And um, yeah, there's something that I want to, I mean, this is the uh, this is the bread and butter of this now. Um, we'll have a look at some charts, we'll have, we'll have a look at some charts uh, in a little while. But just, just before I do, okay. Um, I want to. In fact, I'll get. I'll, I'll get to the bread and butter after this. Right? Let me just show you. Now, their Twitter is very active. The Telegram is very active. They like more or less every day or every other day. There's something coming out. They're very busy and they're keeping us well informed. Okay, and that's something that you always want to see. I mean, you invest in a product and they're quiet for six months. You start to worry a little bit. But yeah, I mean, this this came out just 12 hours ago actually. But they're showing you they're going through they're showing you the sharing app working as you can see there um i like the way they, they do business I'll, you can actually watch a few uh amas um online i know there's one with blockchain block, blockchain brad uh, that's a good one um because he asked some really good questions and he dug he dug deep into to sharing of what they are and i must say the ceo was very impressive as well timothy bowles he answered questions very well and um, like his vision for sharing, it just sounds like, I mean, it just it makes you want to jump on board. So they're basically, um, they've, they've, they've got quite a few partnerships um, in the recent uh, in, in the recent days. Obviously we see with Flair, which is the most recent one, which uh, people are talking about right now. They've got, um, well, that's just a mention from a company in China, which I definitely can't read. I'm not that smart. But, um, yeah, they've got... Uh, let's see if I can find it. Like, you can see their uh, stuff working, whatever that is, you know. Yeah, uh, looks nice. Yeah, I mean, they've got... Um, they, they, they're showing you a little picture of their, their new office in Hong Kong. Um, what they say we're expanding we are expanding rapidly can't wait to introduce the new staff yeah they're hiring more staff as well and that's something you want to see from a company um they're hiring more people i mean they're so busy they need to get more people in all right now they just recently had a busd pair um on finance decks okay and um that should bring more more liquidity uh into the market and more awareness through sharing um now this one i actually missed i saw it when i was scrolling through the twitter earlier i don't know how i missed that but um alphabet um they've partnered with alphabet now what they've been doing is like they've been launched they've been um announcing like a new partnership like once a week um which is actually a, a good strategy because it keeps you you involved and it, it reassures you you know um and and it's, it's almost like it gives you something to look forward to all of the time and they do say like that every week the announcements will be bigger so this one's probably bigger than the last one um billion dollar digital asset fund alphabet i don't know who that is but um, that's definitely something i'll need to look into after this in fact you know what so let's find out what alphabet is might as well alphabet fund alphabet digital asset management Okay, so they specialize in digital assets and crypto currencies. Of course. Alphabet specializes in investments in blockchain and distributed ledger technology products. Projects, sorry, we offer a wide range of advisory services and acts as the investment advisor to the Alphabet Fund, the world's first regulated digital. Okay, so that's regulation there. That's great. Digital asset regulation. They've got the same kind of thing with... Um, with GDA Capital, which CKJ did a video on the other day, so 
Um, if you wanna, if you wanna, if you want that coverage, you can go and uh, uh, watch his video about play it and sharing, and he kind of tells you a little bit about GDA Capital. But um, yeah, I mean, recently featured on Uptrend, um, GDA Capital as global digital assets. Um, yeah, I mean, there's so much announcements, there's so much news that that you know I'm not gonna go through all of this uh, uh, with you. But that's something you can definitely check out if you join their Telegram. Just type it. Just just look for sharing in Telegram, and you know in Twitter it's just sharing S H A R E R I N G, and uh, yeah, sharing global is the actual one that you want because uh, there's two and one of them's old. But yeah, you can check them out on Twitter. You can do a little bit more of your own research. But the bread and butter of this, so I want to get into this. So they've got a partnership with Dipaya insurance okay and they're thailand's largest non-life insurance uh, provider okay now why i think that this is huge right because the lapia insurance are owned by the thailand government or they're at least part owned um by the thailand government um so let's just have a read so sharing drives mainstream blockchain adoption and so and so on a mobile-based cryptocurrency project known as Sharing signed a major major deal with Depire Insurance and so on. Depire Insurance is a Thailand-listed company engaged in the provision of non-life insurance. The company, here we are. The company is partially owned by the Thailand government and has become the largest travel insurance provider in Thailand. Now, this is massive. You can see Tim Bowles with, here with the, the the CEO, the president. That's actually the president of uh, Depire Insurance. And um, they're talking about sharing there, so you know this is real. This this is real stuff going on, guys. You know, and you know they're part owned, partially owned. Did you say part? Yeah, they're partially owned by the Thailand government. The government. So that's regulation right there in Thailand, at least. It says in the first stage of stage of integration, planned for quarter four two thousand nineteen, which which has already passed, of course. The pile will be offering travel products through the sharing app and back-end system, then integrate the other products. The second stage, planned for early 2020, is mandatory insurance for every EVOA application will be directly integrated onto the share ledger blockchain. Okay, and again, mandatory insurance for every EVOA generates two transactions for the sharing ecosystem, and the word that I'm highlighting there is mandatory. Okay, so Thailand government, we're talking about mandatory insurance plan for early 2020 okay evoa is elect electronic visa on arrival now the great thing about this is when you go on a holiday uh to somewhere like thailand or wherever yeah it's a bit annoying sometimes when you have to arrange your visas okay and like i said before about you know the one id and um, having your passport on the blockchain and stuff like that imagine you could just jump on an airplane and you can sort out your visa and it will all be there ready for you by the time you get off the airplane like rather than you have to jump through hoops and go through the paperwork and all that stuff before and then get your passport stamped and all that sort of stuff like this is an electronic visa it's all on the blockchain guys it's all on the blockchain and that's actually massive so that is going to be I mean when you travel you've got to get travel insurance right so that if you're going to Thailand it's almost as if to say you, you, you're most likely going to be downloading the sharing app. If you don't have it by the time you get there, you'll be downloading it when you do get there. We're talking about mandatory insurance. Mandatory insurance and, and visas. Oh, everyone has to have a visa. So that looks like, like mass adoption there, at least in Thailand. And then that can be rolled out like everywhere. You know, another partnership there, Alpha Sigma Capital. Capital. You know, uh, Fireblocks, we've got a partnership with Fireblocks, um, GDA Capital, of course, uh, Alphabet, and uh, Play. So, yeah, check that out, guys. Check that out. If we look at the chart, okay, as you can see, this news has not been void and it's, it's, it's been moving the chart. The last thing you want to see is all of this news coming out and it's a new project and it's not going nowhere, okay? Now, the chart's moving like 
it, it didn't, when, when I first uh, got into this, I mean, what I noticed is it was on Bitmark, and Bitmark is quite quite a low liquidity exchange. Like a lot of coins on here are, are not worth putting anything in because you can get stuck in a coin if you fling your money in there, you know. So what I noticed from way back over here is that the liquidity is quite nice. You know, you got a lot of a little 500% pump there, you know, and you get, get it, and it retraced all the way back now, which is why I took a position in this area and, and the rest is history. You know, I, I did say in my other video, I got out around here, you know, I got a friend into it and he bought around these levels. No, sorry, he bought around these levels and it retraced and he held through it and now he's going to the moon. But if you see the increase in volume, the volume was building up from way over here, way over here. So it was a no-brainer to buy. We see the accumulation with the increase in volume and off to the moon. Okay. Um, one of the things about this is it's a like share token or sharing. It's not on many exchanges at the moment. Okay. It's just some Binance Dex and you see the volume. Look, look at the volume. You know, low. You know, there's no, there's no point in buying it on Binance Dex. Dex, in my opinion. Um, but... You can buy it on sharing, and obviously they've got 93 percent of the volume. I mean, last week it was 99 percent of the volume. So um, yeah, you can definitely buy it on there. Now, if you do want to find a chart, so you can do some proper charting on sharing. If you don't enjoy charting in the exchange, then what you can do is uh, on Coin Trader Pro. I think this is like the only place that I could find where it actually has the chart. You know, and it's been moving really nice. I mean, it's it's moving really nice. You can see it came. It's bull flagging. Bull flags are playing out. Bull flag up there. You know whether another bull flag, whether whether this will um, create another bull flag. Maybe we'll have to wait and see. But it is holding the area very well. Or a falling wedge maybe. It'd be nice to see before another leg up and carry on to the moon. Um, you won't want to see it fall below these levels. As you can see, when we got the breakout, boom, 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 we, got, we had a double bottom over here. Yeah, double bottom. And then we broke out, and then it came up, and it consolidated. Then it touched back on support, and then off. So that's a classic retest, and off to the moon. But we'll have to wait and see where it goes from here. But personally, with all the news, and the way they're moving as a company, I think the only way is up. So, what do you think, guys? Let me know in the comments. If you haven't subscribed already, please do. I appreciate all the feedback. I appreciate all the messages. And I'm a new channel, so I'm, I am responding to all messages at the moment. So, if you do message me, if you've got any questions or anything like that, feel free to ask them in the comments. I hope that you found value in this video. And if you did, you know, feel free to let me know. But, yeah, that's it for now. If you haven't done already, subscribe to the channel. Oh, and before I forget, there's actually two new exchanges that they're going to be listed on sometime next week, according to their Twitter feed. Okay? Moontime.